Welcome back, y'all, to another episode of Hip Hop Babies Album Review. So, I was Dead Lee. You know, I got my boy Ray with me, as always. We got Ways of Knowing by uh, Navy Blue. What an album, man. First off, I want to say the meaning of the name of this album, as Navy described for us, he said the album means the ways of knowing that I don't know remaining reachable to people uh, and their ideas. There's always going to be a, a new experience that changes how you think about certain situations, different perspectives. So that's kind of uh, the theme of this entire thing. I think it's a great way to uh, start his Def Jam debut as Ray let me know. What did you think about the album? Did it give you a new uh, new perspective on anything? Before we, you know, get into all that, I wanted to introduce like as far as like how much we've listened to Navy Blue. So how much did you check out Navy Blue before this project? I've heard Navy Blue on features, particularly from Dimaggio and Overcast and Billy Woods, uh, Arm and Hammer type stuff. That's basically how all I've heard from him so far. I always knew that he had something as far as his wordsmithing and uh, the bars that he made. He's very intentional with uh, what he does, but I never heard him on something that was his own creative direction. So this is the first time. What about you, bro? This is like my third or fourth project. I've heard him on features like you said before and found out that he worked on Earl Sweatshirts. I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Like he worked on the art direction of that album, which is dope to see. But I really got introduced to him with Song of Sage post Panic. Um, that was a really great album. Uh, probably still my favorite. Another introspective album, and I love that with this one, he really focused on the family and the love aspect. Um, he, He's always touched on that with songs, but with this one, like you're saying, with, with the title, Ways of Knowing, the album cover, because I think Navy Blue, like people are like, who's Navy Blue sometimes, you know, and I feel like this was a good way to lay down the, the foundation of getting to know him and some of the struggles he's been through and what he's had to overcome to get where he's at, you know? Getting signed to Def Jam. People yeah. obviously, you know, knowing knowing the work he's put in and it's dope to see. He's relatable for sure. Uh, he made this project with uh, the producer Budgie. He did say that he likes to get in with a, a producer and once he makes a track or two with them, you know, he'll start making more and more. Get in there, get in with the producer. I love when artists do this. I love, you know, Freddie Gibbs, another one. Get in there with the producer, just start making some shit and then hope that shit works out and it builds itself, right? So that's usually when we seem to get like some of the best albums out of these artists. So I was really excited about this. See, actually, Budgie has credits for a feature on one of these songs to fall in love. I'm pretty sure they're working on the whole thing. So shout out Budgie. It is dope to see some recognition for Navy Blue. Uh, we got to we gotta talk about him because I'm just crazy. He's dope. Um, he's, he's next up right now. So tell me real quick, did this album change any perspectives for you? Did any Anything you thought about when you was listening here and you was like, damn, I never thought about it that way. I can relate to this album in a sense. It's a part of things where like sometimes you got to compartmentalize, right? And say, well, even though this is going on, I still have to hustle. I still have to do what I got to do. And I feel like this album, I learned that Navy Blue is kind of the same way. But he's also really good at letting his emotions out in a poetic format. And I think that's, that's what he's best at. And he displays that on this album. Like crazy, like. I knew coming into this, that's why I was excited for it. And we let it sit because um, he's very lyrical. Like, it's damn near poetry, what he's doing on most of these tracks. He even starts singing, way of rapping, and also singing to let his emotions be heard. Because it is kind of monotone, but there is a little bit of emotion in there, especially when he really starts getting into some of the topics, you know? I mean, I'm going to keep bringing up this interview from Rolling Stone. He, he, he was talking about the singing as well, and he was saying, you know, sometimes I just like it when people who just want to sing, sing, right? You know, I, I don't care how you sing. If you want to sing, sing. Unless you're West Side Gun, you can sing, bro. Like, French Toast. <laughs> get, get them vocals off man like uh we'd love to hear it i thought him and kelly moonstone was a really good pairing um the way that you know she picked up right where he left off and uh, she went in on that track i think my favorite track window oh, to the soul right sorry i wasn't yeah you off. yeah yeah window to the soul that one is up there for me so yeah that Damn. one came on right after kill switch was my favorite and that's the one i sent you like we have to review this because it's something about the way he uh flows and the way he lets the beat build up a little bit on that song, uh, Kill Switch, that got me. And then he follows up right with Window to the Soul, which was another highlight. It could be my favorite, but I think Kill Switch got it. But that was a good back to back, like, bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, he doesn't have a lot of features, but whenever he does get a feature, they add a lot to the track. They're helping. I like that different perspective because life is yeah. about perspectives, right? I think Navy Blue is able to bring others in to share theirs while also helping 
add to his favorite uh, feature was not even a performer. Uh, it was one of his best friends, uh, Steven Trailer. He got to uh, put on the song Chosen. Uh, you heard the guy saying, you know, flash flood warning niggas. I thought this was originally like kind of like some famous like some famous Twitter comedian. I was like, who is this, bro? So I looked it up and it's actually his best friend. He put him on there just because, you know, he's somebody who, who makes him laugh. Humor is a big thing for him. Uh, he just he just loves loves his friend so much. And his friend obviously has the utmost gratitude for him too so you know i just thought that was heart touching yeah. and i like that you know he brought people on here people that are important to him that means something you know yeah. um, and it's not just you're not just getting names right you getting people that will contribute to uh something that you're doing so i thought that was really genuine and really cool he mentions on the album that he also hangs around uh says yasin bay and i think dave Chappelle. so obviously yeah. he likes to hang around people who you know, are humorous and make light of negative situations. Sometimes you got to like feel yourself even when you're going through it. This is a grown rap album. Growing up and, and getting older and, and, and losing an important people and knowing how to move on from that, I think it's a really important topic. And that's why we almost let this one slip by, but I was like, I can't, we can't do that. He talks about too much stuff on here that's like, wow, I wish more rappers did that. And the way he does it is talking about moving on from important people in his life, you know, passing away and stuff. Um, I've had one grandfather father passed away i'm lucky to have the father of my mother still alive uh you know he's but he's talking about how that's such an important thing to him on pillars i do have a great reverence and um, a lot of love for my mother so obviously uh, i get very sentimental about her father and her mother as well so it was really touching bro him bring, bring that up and just being able to put into words what a lot of people can't for themselves you know this is so powerful yeah and it's really talking about you wish more people do it because it's needed. Uh, you need people to to help you grasp with these abstract, you know, shouldn't happen type concepts. I mean, he says it on uh, Shadow Shield too, you know. People are getting buried like every day, man. Shit is real, bro. I feel, I'm feeling for bro. I'm, feel, I'm feeling yeah. for him. <laughs> it almost feels like we're in a therapy session and he's kind of, or, or we're a friend. Nah, actually, fuck that. Fuck a therapy session. <laughs> we're a friend. And we're listening to him talk about what's been going on and kind of how he's been dealing with it. I think that him having the cover of him on the cover and really, you know, touching on that topic, like you said, with pillars, I think that was such a crucial track because, you know, those are pillars, you know, those are the foundation that kind of help raise you, help raise your parents. And when you lose them, you have to carry on their legacy. I mean, your parents obviously are too. And you also got to continue to grow from the foundation and don't let those things that you learn be lost in time because those people got lost. You know, you still have to, you know, continue to be an outstanding man. I think that's why this album's kind of all over the place with certain things as well, too. Like he's singing on the one and some of the songs I believe are like short. One track or two tracks that were like short and then he goes and switches it up and then starts talking about some other stuff, right? And it's like when you're going through things, when things are hitting you, things go real quick. They keep rolling. You don't have time sometimes to just keep feeling whatever you're feeling you gotta i think uh that the album being 37 minutes we always talk about you know the album just being a certain like why is it important why is it important that an album is 37 minutes is because you can do stuff like this bro you can make a track that is one minute and you can put it in between two three minute tracks right and you had just have this total tone shift in this one track and it just completely changes you know the emotion of what you're riding through the momentum is completely different you know it's just the ability as an artist to you know pivot and take a different artistic direction that's just as cool as the last one it's something that's really impressive so um i totally agree and uh you know just having the shorter timeline on the entire album makes those uh, moments that much more crucial it's like you know step getting in crunch time bro mm -hmm. last three minutes of the game bro you know that's what everybody's looking at you know and it, it helps people like fixate on the details and stuff so i thought it was really dope and and we still had to take a month for this shit man we still had to take a month to digest all this like because i was like god damn you talking about real shit it was a hard listen to get into even as someone who checked out his other projects because recently this kind of reminded me of listening to music during the pandemic where you just had to sit and you had the time to listen to music and get really introspective kind of brought me back to that and i think that's a good thing as far as all the other albums that came out this year this was a enjoyable listen over time because it, it took time to grow on me and the reward for you know sticking with it was an album that no one else has done this year this was special i, I think it's definitely going to be in my top 10 just because the fact that he did this as his first def jam album i think this is a great major debut and i hope 
you know, people are checking this out. Like, don't let this pass by and just be like, oh, it's another Navy Blue album. Like, this deserves a lot of streams. This deserves a lot of numbers. It's not that I was surprised I like his music, but coming from his other projects, it just was like, you're not slipping up at all. And you're also not doing the same thing. So I got to give him his props, even though like some people might think, oh, like he's rapping like this person or, oh, he's super monotone. Like, nah, there's passion here. This is something else. The sample work is crazy. Um, you know, the flow, uh, the songwriting. He was saying that some of these tracks were like pretty old um, and you know, he just had to come back to him, give him a new perspective, right? Flesh him out a little bit and just kind of work to put them all together. Um, same producer, right? So sometimes it just works like that, man. And he works some magic on this one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is a this is a great album. I'm totally entranced the entire time I'm hearing it. Basically my commute time, so it's perfect for me. I cannot say enough about how good this album is. You were saying it's gonna be in your in your top ten um, at the end of the year. And I'm probably going to have to join you in saying that it's going to make it. It's a standalone album. It stands out amongst its peers right now. Nobody's really touching this. So uh, shout out to Def Jam for uh, signing him and keeping talent. At least they're trying to sign someone who's trying to do something different and be introspective. You know, we complain about that. We say the mainstream isn't doing that. Now, is this a mainstream album per se where like it's you know on the radio and everything? No, but at least it has major label support. And that's good to see as well. Because um, I want to see more artists have a chance, have a shot to uh, try, you know, to put out music like this and have it get pushed. You know, yeah. that's important. It should be mainstream, though, you know, like we, like we talking about. This is like if you are around our age group, I guarantee you every single one of us is going through this. And if you are above that age group. I guarantee you've had some perspective where you can see some stuff like this. And if you were under the age group, you can learn a thing or two from something like this, bro. Like this is the music that you want to put out to the people. By definition, I would call Navy Blue a conscious rapper because he's yeah. just, he is so conscious of what he is saying at all times and the message that he puts out to people. I genuinely feel like he thinks people need to hear what he's saying. I understand that sometimes it can be moody. Um, I mean, he is called Navy Blue for a reason. I kind of blue. It is kind of, I wouldn't say gloomy because there is hope on his records. There is uh, always overcoming what he's going through. It's never like, oh, I just gave up and I'm just sitting here. And, and that's why I respect it, you know? And I think it is needed. You know, music isn't always there to make you feel happy. Sometimes it's there to make you sit, chill, relax, and think, or make you chill and, and reflect on things. It can help with mm -hmm. that. And I think this album mm -hmm. is, that's the purpose. Like you're saying, everyone might have been through this, but not everyone wants to hear that. It can hurt. I think for some people, this might be a very emotional album because it does talk about things, especially if you lost people you might be like damn that's might be how you felt at that time or how you're feeling now and sometimes people yeah. try to just move forward and not look back but to learn you have to and i think yeah that's why it's so great to hear him talk about this because it's almost like he's learning and he's trying to give you game you know i think we say rappers give you game on how to get rich and how to get hoes and all that well he's giving you game on how to emotionally reflect and emotionally grow up and say you know what i've been through these things what can i take from that Instead of being like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to go waste my money and talk about bullshit. And I'm supporting it. Recommend it. You have to stream this. You got time. Especially if you're in the lyrical rap. If you're in the, um, you know, chill. Even if you want to just chill and, and do your thing and have this in the background. I think it fits with that, too. You know, so. Well, like he says, uh, it's hard for a black man. I think he said that on um, Post Sage. You know, as a black man, I feel like we go through things all the time. But you got to be happy. You got you to gotta always keep going. So, and he puts that into words perfectly. The compartmentalizing like you were talking about for sure. It's hard to do, but um, it's something that a lot of us have to go through every day. Pack it up, keep moving. Don't just put this on one time and then you know move on from it you gotta sit with it you gotta yeah. you gotta you gotta spend the time and uh and 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 listen get your headphones on i know you like to slap things in the car we love to slap things on the speaker but for me when i got most enjoyment out of this with my headphones on doing something and i just need something in the background to motivate me or to kind of like get my mind going get my head going you yeah. know what i'm saying you was talking about uh, being sad he's kind of monotone and stuff right and i feel like the way that i got into this album was like he was flowing on a lot of these tracks like you know we talking about just lyrical content but like he was flowing on these tracks bro that's why i like kill switch so much he was flowing on that one it was something to behold for sure so that's really how i got into it it was more you know i really we were talking about boldy i really fuck with boldy boldy's got that same like you know monotone it's like killer instinct when he's rapping right maybe he's got the same shit when he goes in he's going in he's like locked in the zone so it's really something that 
drew me into the project initially and then you know the more you listen the more you pick up from the lyrics you're just getting gems an album that gets better with each listen do not give it one listen do not give it two give give that give it five give it ten i'm i'm at 20 probably right now you know i'm deep i'm deep (laughs) we ain't too deep at this point (laughs) <laughs> for real so with that being said thank y'all so much make sure y'all stream of course navy blue shout out to you bro this is a great debut i'm sure that we're gonna get so much more from you over the years I want more features thank y'all so much make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on notifications try to be that first commenter down there help us out man it's the algorithm really appreciate it want more people to listen to this want more people to be a part of the community so thank y'all so much yep navy blue if you're watching keep the albums coming i want more these are dope i was waiting on this one as soon as i heard it was coming out and then when i heard dev jam was behind i was like oh yeah because that means more funding hopefully i got everything i wanted and thank you for that that check came in bro yeah that check cleared and he cashed it out he deserves every penny. That album cover was a moving gif on Apple Music. I know you've yep. seen it. Man. Everything. He has the animation. We love seeing the upgrade. Keep them coming, man. With that being said, peace. peace.